Okay, welcome to my presentation. I'm going to present our paper, Keep the Phone in Your Pocket. I'm Evan Ng from the Department of Computer Science and Technology, Tsinghua University. Uh, so nowadays, smartphones are an indispensable tool for visually impaired people. This picture shows a typical posture when a visually impaired user interacts with a smartphone via a screen reader. However, previous studies have shown that they may feel inconvenienced by getting their phones out of their pockets, um, constrained by two-handed interaction and suffer from privacy concerns and the social awkwardness. So our goal is to provide a new wearable input system to enhance phone interaction. There are many related works based on different wearable devices, such as wristbands, rings, and white canes. But these interactions either have a constrained number of gestures, constrained body locations, or require two-handed interaction. Some of them are not designed for visually impaired people. So in our work, we use a smart ring embedded with a single IMU to sense gesture input. Wearing the ring on the middle phalanx of the index finger, users could perform 15 gestures on any surface to operate their phones. Overall, we designed a set of command and gestures suitable for smartphone control, designed a classification algorithm to recognize 15 gestures and provide the usability evaluation. So why do we choose rings? We believe that in one-handed interaction scenarios, a ring can send subtle fingers gestures with greater accuracy, thus provides higher efficiency and social acceptance. Um, our first study is to uh, design a versatile command set for phones and a suitable gesture set for rings and then map them up. Um, for the commands, after brainstorming, uh, visually impaired participants were required to rate the necessity of the commands so that we could remove unnecessary ones. Um, here is our results. We cut them into different types of commands. Uh, then for the gestures, we designed a gesture vocabulary based on our design space. We designed two posture types, finger pop and finger tip. This is our vocabulary. We then conducted an ease of use uh, scoring study to explore their preferences. Mm, for the mappings, we considered the users pre-existing vocabulary of idiomatic gestures and explored the semantic re relationships. Then this is our final mappings of gestures and the commands. Uh, now here comes our second study, gesture recognition. Our prototype used a uh, nine axis IMU uh, connecting to an Arduino. For the data, we used Matwick filter to get the gravity and pitch angle. And we have 20 visually impaired participants to perform um, 4,000 and 500 samples in sum. We followed a paper to recognize the touchdown event. The registration gesture is a triple tap. So the system reports a registration event when three touch events occurred within a specific window. Additionally, the registration collects the initial pitch angle. Our system will adjust the pitch angle according to this initial data. And for our 15 classification, we designed the features according to these five criteria. Type of swipe, how, how many touches, um, finger pop or finger tape, swiping left or right, up or down. Then we designed a multi-level multi SVM classifier. Um, here is our confusion matrix. Um, leave one out cross validation showed an average accuracy of 95.5%. So after the, in the implementation, our first study is to um, evaluate the usability. We give a verbal explanation of the commands and gestures to visually impaired participants, and then they were required to finish eight daily tasks using ring and phone in turn. After that, they completed questionnaires um, comparing these two interactions. According to the results, users could learn the gestures and commands quickly, and the accuracy is around 90, 95%. As for the efficiency and the task-based efficiency comparison, our ring can significantly reduce the amount of registration time. Also, this table shows uh, the subjective score for the experience of three surfaces. As you can see, 
the ring interaction outperforms the phone interaction in the dimensions of uh, fun to use, private, and facilitate for one handed interaction. So basically, it's an input interaction for visually impaired people, but it's also beneficial to general people. Sometimes we find it difficult to operate phones with a hand, or we want to discreetly use a phone in socially sensitive situations. Also, there are so, also some uh, there are also some limitations. For example, the registration gesture still has unintentional touches, so we plan to add a physical button. We also want to add Bluetooth and the battery modules, uh, and remove physical wire connections for production. Um, in conclusion, we present a ring-based input interaction with a single IMU, enabling in-pocket smartphone operation on any surface for visually impaired people. In a broader sense, it is a promising study that extends the HCI community's work of using wearable devices to address the issues of visually impaired people. Okay, thanks for listening.